alone. I'll be traveling alone for over 165 kilometers. I don't know how many days it's going to take, but it's going to be interesting. Water levels are really low. And the water's down. Alright, we're just coming out on Beaver House here. I managed to single carry that 500 meters, no problem, so that all looks good. The water is super low. There's going to be a few places on the trip that are going to be difficult, to say the least. We're going to head across Beaver House and 200 meter portage into Quetico Lake. And then uh, all the way down Quetico, find a campsite, and we'll be headed. I am alone, solo and alone, and uh, it's the way I'll be for nine days should be interesting right now the breeze is at my back so that's good on our way well get a little bit of a shower which I figured I would today no biggie first day is always fun now so heading for the portage to Quinnico. Wow this uh, river is way down like I bet you a foot and a half if not more I've never seen it this low. Two years ago we were through here and it was uh, up over all these rocks. So at least a foot and a half, if not more. Definitely going to have to walk up here. Wow, that's weird. Have you ever seen a squirrel swim? There's a squirrel swimming. A red squirrel. That is weird. Okay. This little swift water here is way down, so I'm gonna have to walk up here. Now that I'm getting spun around. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, now I get in the canoe for 60 feet across, put back out again. I'm going around a set of rapids over there where there's a, a old wooden dam. This trail used to be an old road. Pretty muddy landing. I'll go try the other one just around the corner here. There's another one. This landing looks a bit better. There in the rain again. And we're at Quetico. Now we're into Quetico. That was the last portage for today, anyways. Only had two today, it's not too bad. Water is way down. I keep saying that, but it's gonna affect me when I hit uh, Jean Creek. Because uh, the water was low there before when it was high. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there. Might be as far as I get, who knows. All these rocks over here are usually all submerged. Those are always submerged. Alright, we got a little bit of a river here and then we get onto uh, the lake, the open lake. So. Hopefully it's not too windy out there. I'll have to, there's one open section when we first come into it, but then I'll have to hug the left shore if the wind's coming out of the northwest. Or southwest, sorry. I moved the bag back to the back of the canoe where I'm used to it, so see how that goes. I think with the wind on your stern, that's a better place for it. I got the uh, the bigger B free, the one liter now. So I also brought the uh, 600 milliliter with me back up.
I don't know, we're just coming out onto Quetico Lake here. All these logs you see in here, these are all cut by man. They were all uh, part of the logging drive way back when, when uh, Quetico was logged. They just imagine this whole river just packed with logs. It's all part of the old river drive. Get the logs to the paper mill. It's raining again. there. Okay, this looks like it's uh, home for night one. Still pretty breezy and it's been raining off and on. I did uh, almost 22 kilometers. So I think that's enough for today. On a little point here. Still got some uh, nasty looking clouds heading this way. So I get the tent set up. Probably set it right there. Get some dinner going. Big site here, but uh, a lot of it is uh, pretty useless. <laughs> Lots of rocks. Pretty beat. I think that's. Uh, Pretty good for our first day, especially having to drive almost three hours here. Got the tent set up. That took some doing as I haven't set it up for two years. <laughs> I'm just uh, sitting here relaxing. Got my chair here to relax on. Waiting for the wind to die down a bit. It's still only uh, like 3.30 in the afternoon, so Wait for the wind to die down and then I can have a, a fire and maybe cook some cook some food. See if I can go catch some fish maybe. I 
give my back a rest. It's pretty sore. I'm not sure what it's going to do tonight. Forecast was for uh, rain stopping, but clouds staying for tomorrow. Sunny for a few days and then some more rain, so we'll see. Well, wind has picked up quite a bit. I'm sure glad I got off the lake. Be a tough paddle into that. Kind of mostly cloudy, a little bit of sun, but uh, it's the way it is.